Hello and welcome back to this quick video guide in between episodes about Materia, that little bright little sphere we picked up last time. So in Final Fantasy VII, your spells are used through Materia, these little spheres you pick up around the world or that you buy in shops. Each one has a little thing and has levels as you can see by the stars. As it levels up, it gets better abilities as in both 1, 2, and 3, or a Cure, Cure 2, Regen, and Cure 3. So, however, some other ones, as they level up, they also become completely different. For example, one of the final ones, be uh, Attack All or Slash All, becomes Flash that instantly kills pretty much any enemy. So how do you level them up? The AP there, right there, where it says AP and below that to next level. You get that from fighting mobs, and as you can see, it is a lot. So it takes a long time to level up materia at the beginning of the game. Also, right here on Cloud's Buster Sword, we have what is called a link slot. This means that when you put something like this one that we just picked up called All, it means that whenever I use the adjacent materia here, in this case Lightning, it's going to cast it on all of the enemies in the area. If I had, re let's see, Restore in that slot, when I use Cure, it would cure everybody in the party, or cast Regen on everybody in the party. Or if you have, say, Revive, it would revive everybody that is currently down. And that's pretty much all you really need to know about Materia. There are some very special Materia in the game. Now, oh, and this is also how you use your summons. We don't have any yet because it's the beginning of the game, but summons work the exact same way, except that they don't get better abilities. However, when a Materia reaches level 4 or 5, whatever its level is, it actually splits off into a second materia that is identical to the first, but level 1 with 0 AP. That is how you can get multiple of the same materia, so you can have, say, 3 Bahamut materia if you really wanted it to. And that's how you level them up. However, there's even more special materia above those that are called, let's see, all, I think, I believe it's called Master Magic and stuff like that. Those materia you can only get once you have a max level materia of every other materia in its category, and that one materia has every spell within its category inside it. So Master Summon materia has every summon in the game, Master Fire Magic materia has all the magics in it, Master Restore materia, and so on and so forth. So, so as you can see with Clouds here, because he's the only that had materia, out of all the battles we did over there in the reactor, we had 67 AP. It looks like a lot, however, certain weapons have special properties. For example, if we go to Equip, the Weapon Sword, it says Growth. Right there on Growth, you can see it says Normal. There is Double and even Triple, and I think there's one sword specific for Cloud that says Quadruple Growth. That means that from every battle, and the material on the sword is going to get 4 times, 2 times, 3 times, whatever it is it says, the AP that it would usually get, and that is the secret to leveling material. However, we don't get that sort to very near the end of the game, so there's really not much we can do about it. So with that out of the way, I hope that gives you a quick understanding of how Materia works, and that should be pretty much it. So with that, we're going back to the main game. 